Alright, so if you follow me on uh, the old Instagrams, you'll know that I got a forklift. And it's great. I love my forklift. It's the best thing I ever bought. But the only problem with the forklift is you can't take it off the concrete. So on concrete, it's absolutely brilliant. But as soon as it rains a little bit and you get into the soft driveway, then it's just the end of the world. It just bellies out, then you're really stuck. So I was laying there in bed this morning and I had this idea that come to my head because I'm currently cleaning out the old donger that was on the property when we bought it. And I'm gonna turn that into like a big reloading room for all the guns and stuff like that. Um, to move it, I took a lot of the weight out of it. And now there's a lot of stuff over where it used to be. And I can't really take the forklift over there because it's been raining. Back to my idea. I had this idea that my little digger it has a like a blade on the front looking into forklift attachments for the digger and everything they do make them but they're for the bucket and my thought was well i don't really want it on the bucket because what if i need to still grab something or push something on and then i thought what if i make an attachment for the front of the digger you can drive up lift up the blade and then you have a little set of forks now these aren't that big of digger so there's not a, it can't carry a lot of weight anyway so my thought is just enough to have a pallet so you can throw a few things on there and then walk it back to the concrete and then take it, lift it up. And then lift it up with the fork thing. You get the idea. So here's my CAD drawing that I've already done. So basically you're going to drive up to your fork attachment and then lift up your, your blade and then that's going to lift the forks that I'm going to weld onto these plates. That's pretty much the idea. So it's not going to be a heavy duty attachment, it's just going to be a convenience attachment. Now we're going to cut out this bit, see if we can stuff it up. Alexa, turn off the compressor. Okay. So while we wait for those bits to cool, um. <laughs> Did I ever tell you I'm a genius? While we wait, I'll, um, I'll take you for a little workshop tour. Now, I haven't done much at all. Uh, that's all the reloading bench and everything, so Maddie and I are going to set it up at the back. I'll show you that first, actually. So this is our donga, and it's pretty, uh, pretty how you're going. We sort of um, started working on it. And to be honest, I don't know how it's still staying upright. So this is the floor. And then that's the beam that that bit's sitting on. But this, that whole back wall is just floating. So this thing could probably just fall on me at any, mo any moment. Which is great. So I'm currently in the process of pulling the floor out to replace these joists because that one there was broken. That one there is broken. This one's broken. And yeah, so once I do that, then I'm pretty much going to join up, put, screw another one to the side and then screw it to that. So that way we can push this whole wall back up. That should be good. So this is most likely going to be the reloading room once we finish this one. Then we're going to move into the next one, which is currently full of stuff and falling apart. So I got some bathroom stuff for the house, some leftover stuff from the uh, off-grid house. Uh, it's coming together really slowly. I've got to clean up out here. Uh, I've got to finish the shed. So I've done all the drill holders, uh, bag of salt holder, 12 volt M18, and Harry's here. Right. He can weld now. No. Why not? Don't weld. Don't I'm weld. a learn to weld. Harry, you don't even know what we're doing. Nah, I, I just come for beers, and that's it. That's it. Uh, I just made a holder for my computer because it was floating around the drawer. It has got a case, but I like it on the wall better. You got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, I've been printing heaps. That's all I've been really doing. Yeah, very nice. Time to do my shed. Come to your shed? Yeah. I did a lot of beer. <laughs> I got heaps of beer. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect.
hit a whole parry. Wow. I was about to do all that on the floor, and then I realized I have a mobile workbench. There you go. Oh, four key. Alright Harry, that's all welded up. We'll go test today. So basically, the idea is, it's going to sit over there like that. Our tines come out here. Boom. That looks pretty good, eh Harry? Oh, I reckon it sits pretty well. So now all we got left is to do our tines. So I think I'm just going to weld it on. Because obviously that's only a baby ram, so it's not going to be able to pick up much. But it's only just to be able to transport like platforms so I can put stuff on and then transport it back. That's the idea. I should just even make it a platform. Nah, I want a, I want a, I want a forklift for the digger. That's perfect. That's perfect. Nice built them. Alright, so now what we've got to do is the tine bits and then done. Done. Oh, that's stronger than I thought. Maybe once it's got a pallet on it or something, it'll even uh, it itself. definitely won't go straight. My original idea is it really use it to move pallets and just have like a tray or something. Do. These here. Yeah. That's why it's not sitting flat. Is because we haven't ground them off yet. Yeah, don't do it. See, I was, I was wondering what, how I failed at that. We just got to grind them off, Harry. Then we're done.
dang dude, that is awesome. And I'm 100 kilos. You don't want to be lifting more than 100 kilos anyway. Not on the end, over here. And then if it breaks, we'll just add more support there. Yeah. That is awesome. I love it. What do you got there? Bye-bye. Not even kidding this thing is the best thing i've ever made in my entire life it was so handy so it's been a couple of days since i we did the first part and this thing has been getting non-stop use ever since i've i've loaded it with logs i've freaking all the sticks through the yard you can just pile into this grab with the bucket throw a pallet on fill it up with all the stuff ditch the pallet ditch the rack keep going and then when you need it you can come back and pick it up again you don't have to most of the time you don't have to get off the digger to put it on but sometimes the ground's a bit uneven and I was very tight with the tolerances so but hasn't popped off during driving it has popped off like when I've been trying to load it but that's my fault with lifting it up other than that like this thing is brilliant so I've I've already broken it I've already broken a tine off but that was my fault because I hit it with the bucket when I was trying to scoop some sticks on but even then with the broken tine I still carried all the stuff and then just put it back in the shed and re-welded it it was probably my fault because that edge that I ground off, I ground off a lot of the welds as well and that's where it broke. Uh, I didn't want to put a weld along the top because that would weaken that top point. But other than that, it's going absolutely brilliant. <clears throat> uh, the only things I probably want to do is put a little platform on the top so you have a step. Um, other than that, it's, it's working perfect. So I'll leave it at that for this episode. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.